Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and here on the channel we ask one question, which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better than the new music, but I'm not so sure. And so today, we're going to we're gonna do, I always say we're going to do something different, but today you'll be viewing this on Sunday. This is Dia de los Locos, here where I live in Mexico. And that's Day of the Crazies. So we got to hit up something kind of crazy, something kind of mythological. So what, what is Day of the Crazies? And, uh, but before I do that, let me show you just a very brief clip of what's going on in the town. Yeah, so Day of the Crazies. Uh, it's to the patron saint of the orchards, and it's apparently uh, got its origins in the indigenous people of Mexico. So, there you go. It's uh, There's also these big black storm clouds rolling in tonight, and so I'm feeling this, um, you know, special vibe tonight. And a lot of you guys have wanted me to hit up Nightwish again, and I'm going to do that, but... Um, so I'm, I'm heeding your advice on the band, but I'm changing the song up just a little bit. And, and I'll tell you why. It's a reaction channel, and I want to run through the three singers. So we hit up a video with Tarja, and then the second singer is Annette. And I could not find any um, live version of this song, Storytime, but I like the lyrics to this song, so I want to hit this up in particular. There is some cell phone vintage, but nothing... Uh, uh, cell phone footage if I can say the word uh, but um, we'll just hit up the official video tonight so let me uh, plug in these headphones and and I've done a deep dive into the lyrics and we'll we'll look at those after the video so here we go here is uh, the official video of story time from I think 2009 so here we go Okay, nice creepy, nice creepy music, pirates, skulls, okay, clowns, we got it all. So she's a very different singer. Mm. So I wouldn't consider this uh, metal, really, right? So you guys said they do a lot of different styles. I can see that here. It's got the power, though. <laughs> yep. Perfect. How can you not like a pirate on the drum kit? Now you got that chorus in the background, making it much more symphonic. 
Oh, nice drums. Okay. Got those strings coming in, or keyboards, whatever they are. So you got some mock trumpet songs, and now the vocals that sound like Carl Orff, right? Carmina Burana. That's a nice video. Well, nice, you know what I mean. High quality. Okay. So she is such a different singer. That's the most marked thing about this. So we've got um, Tarja was so classical, so operatic. So much so that when I first reacted the, to the video, her, her diction was such that I thought she was singing in Finnish. I didn't even realize it was English. It was such a operatic uh, form of diction. And here, Annette, who I presume is Finnish, almost sounds like an American on here. It's just very plain diction. And uh, so what I will say about this is I prefer Tarja uh, as a singer, but I did enjoy this quite a bit. Let's do a dive into the lyrics and uh, move me over real quick so let's see here was the night before when all through the world no and by the way they're shooting off fireworks outside i love it it's perfect so it was the night before when all through the world no words no dreams so no language and no images then one day a writer by a fire imagined all of gaia took a journey into a child man's heart. So let's see what the uh, annotation says on this. So the first lines of the song, as well as some of its other fragments, as well as the mood of waiting for a miracle, echoes very much the beginning of the famous Christmas poem, Twas the Night Before, written in 1882, with the year of American poet public figure Clement Moore, uh, this poem and its time turned the idea of contemporaries about Santa Claus who had never before associated with a kind el elderly gentleman, rosy-cheeked and in a fur coat who came on sledges, sledges? Harnessed by reindeer. I wonder if they mean sleds. And sneaking into the house secretly through the trim need to leave gifts for children. So it was the night before when all through the world, no words, no dreams. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to take a minute the word on this. It seems, you know, sometimes genius will over annotate, right? So not sure about that. Sorry about that. My phone's going off. I should have known better. Uh, then one day a writer by, let's see, Gaia. It's the name of the ancient Greek goddess of the earth. In this context, the name is used to mean the whole world. Okay. So the lyrics continue. A painter on the shore imagined all the world within a snowflake on his palm, unframed by poetry. A canvas of awe, planet earth falling back into the stars. Painter on the shore imagined all the world within a snowflake on his palm, unframed by poetry. So that's a nice line. So we're talking about something that cannot be described with words. I am the voice of Never Never Land, the innocence. So that's a Peter Pan. Yeah, here we go. The innocence, the dreams of every man. I am the empty crib of Peter Pan. See what, see if there says anything about the crib. 
Uh, no, just a reference to Peter Pan. A silent kite against the blue, blue sky. Every chimney, every moonlit sight. I am the story that will read you real. Every memory of you hold dear. Verse 2, I am the journey, I am the destination. I am the home, the tale that reads you. A way to taste the night, the elusive high, follows the madness. Alice, you know, once did. So, madness and Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, let's see here. Uh huh. Imaginarium, a dream emporium, caress the tales and they will dream you real. A storyteller's game, lips that intoxicate the core of life, is a limitless chest of tales. Oh, okay, so there's more lyrics here. Uh, so they repeat that chorus about Peter Pan. Uh, yeah, I am the voice of Never Never Land. This is the post chorus the innocence, the dreams of every man, searching heavens for another earth. Never Land, innocence, dreams of every man. Peter Pan. Okay. So, yeah, I like the song. I mean, it, it was really surprisingly sort of accessible and kind of poppy, right? So it was um, pretty easy to digest, and uh, I, I know this band can really tear it up. So this seems like it was written to be a single, uh, a little more accessible, and that's fine. That's okay. Uh, but I think when we hit the next singer, which is Floor, is that her name? Uh, when we hit up a third video by Nightwish, I'll try to find something a little more crunching. Uh, see if I can r really see what the musicianship, and we'll try to hit a live video. That should not be difficult. There's, a, as we go through the progression of the band, there's a lot more live content from about 2013 on as they recorded uh, high quality live videos, uh, perhaps some DVDs. So, uh, yeah, Annette, uh, a good singer. I uh, prefer Tarja. What do you guys think? That's my opinion. Uh, she had a tone in her voice that was really special. This particular singer, good. Uh, so what would be my letter grade? I don't, know, I don't think I want to put a letter grade on this. I just feel like I maybe didn't capture the perfect song for this uh, chapter, this mid-chapter of the band. So... Uh, I did enjoy the video though, and the video was perfect for the mood for Dia de los Locos. So here we're tying Finland and Mexico together. You wouldn't think those two would go together, but the imagery of the, of the parade, and I think they're out there doing it again tonight. It's, they're, they're out there every night, the crazies. So I love it. And so thanks for joining me here on the channel, and we will hit the third incarnation of Nightwish. We'll hit the, them up uh, one of these days, so be patient. And thanks for joining the channel. If you like what we're doing here, hit the like or subscribe button. It really helps the growth of the channel. Uh, I'm starting to approach 500 subscribers, and when we hit 500, I get to do some things like, uh, you know, an official poll where you can vote instead of writing in the comments. So that'll, that'll be nice. So it'll be some extra YouTube features that that I'll qualify for when we hit 500. So looking forward to hitting that goal together. And as we say here in Mexico, buen dia and buenas noches.